Check this out guys. This is the eye spin collection and you can actually change all the arms. And I didn't even know this until I had somebody comment. Uh, Christian E commented on one of my older videos and he asked me if I can change the arms around on another video when I basically compared like three of these. Right here, this is the, this is the heaviest um, spinner I have. It's 120 grams, this is 105. I think this one here is 74. And they asked me if I can change the arms around on each of these. And the thing was, I ran home and I went to check and I wasn't able to change the arms on these. And the reason why is because these are all different brands and they're all, they all have a different thread size. Let me show you the thread size on all these first. And then we'll go ahead and go over um, all these other ones that are interchangeable, but you can see the thread sizes here. It's uh, they're all different sizes. Okay, you can see some of some of them are like a little bit fatter, some of them are a little bit skinnier. So all these these three won't they're not interchangeable with with these three here. Okay, however, now since that I have the I Spin collection, there's six of them. They all have the same size thread on here, guys, which is super cool. Check this out. So you can go ahead and change the uh the arms around on these let me give you a closer look and we're going to go ahead and make another one too you can see there's a rainbow um core here and the different arms here as well oops this one here is like loose here check this one out here that is pretty cool let me do this too. Let me just go ahead and show you a picture um, of all six spinners, the ice spin spinners, what they're supposed to look like. So let me go ahead and pop that picture on there right now. So you can see that the way that they're supposed to look. And now if we go back to down to my desk here, I mean, look at this, like, check this out. Okay, and all the arms are the same size. And all these bearings are the same too. I believe these are all um, R188 stainless steel bearings. They're not the typical 608 bearings. They're actually uh, a little bit smaller. Let me just open this one up. So they, these all have the same bearings. They all have like washers on here. You can see how small the balls are in this one here. Let me go ahead and show you what the regular 608 bearing looks like. And it looks like, like one of these here. Let me just pop this out. And you can see how much bigger. I mean, this one here is, this is a 608 bearing. This is a lot bigger than this one they have in here for the uh, eye spin. You know what, let me show you the balls, because the balls here are really small. Let me show you what the balls look like in a regular uh, 608 uh, bearing here. Let me just, I'll go ahead and just open this one up here. Let me go ahead and take this out. I'll pop this bearing out right here. And you can see the size of the balls on this bad boy here. But the balls on the eye spin here, look how small they are. Look at that. Big, big difference, okay? So let me get in, let me just show you what you can do with these. Let me go ahead and pop these uh, caps back on here, and let's go ahead and make another one. And the thing I have to mention is, you know, hold on a second. Let me pop this in here. Okay. So the only thing is, is like these ones here, like these chrome ones, and the rainbow ones by Icepin. This core here is higher up. This one here is a little bit lower. So if I have some um, arms that are kind of like wide I'm able to spin it um, you know in my hand like this but if I put it down I'm not going to be able to spin it because like this one here is going to touch the ground so let me just give you like an example here so let's just say if you want to use this core here the golden one it's it's just flatter it's, it's not as thick as like uh, these four here you can see like this one here is a lot thicker so it, it stays above the flat surface a little bit more so you can actually get some spin time. So if I put these on here, these aren't gonna work. It's basically scraping against the uh, the flat surface here. But if I used any one of these on here, it's fine because these are just skinnier. So again, let me just show you like each of these. Check this one out here. Look at that. I think one's loose on here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and make something a little bit different here. Oh, this one is, what happened to the arm on this one? Oh, I don't know if that fell off or not. But I kind of like this one here. You can see the iSpin logo right here on the cap as well. 
So let's do this. Let's go ahead and take some of these off and let's do something different, okay? Let me go ahead and pop this one off. And like I said, all these arms, guys, the threads are all the same. So you can mismatch the whole collection. There's six of them here. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and just experiment here. Let me try to make another one here. Let's go with, uh, I'll keep the little ones on here like this. And then, I mean, we could actually you know what we do. We can just put a whole bunch of different ones on here. The only thing is, you know, when you put these on here, they have to be evenly distributed or it's not going to give you like an even spin here. So let me just, just put something ridiculous on here. Let me just put a bunch of different heads on here. Let me put this one on here just like that. And I guess I'll grab one of these big ones here. Ooh, that's about to fall over. Let me put this, oh shh. Ooh, that almost fell. See, now this is uneven, okay? I, I, I could feel it, it's wobbly right now in my hand. So obviously if I go down here, it's gonna be doing that. So they all have to be even. So if I did this, if I took this one off and I put this little smaller one on here. Now these are all the same size, okay? So these three are the same as well as these three. These are different colors, but they're, they're the same ones. One's chrome and one's rainbow. So now I have it nice and balanced. So let me just give you guys one more look at each variation and I'll give you a quick spin here. You can kind of see what it looks like spinning. Uh, obviously on this one, I'm missing one of the heads because I put it on this one. And so this is, it's going to be uneven. This is not going to spin well. And this one here, it's uh, like I said, beginning or earlier in the video, these are just too thick for this like core here. So it'll just keep scraping against the, uh, the table here. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like, subscribe for more videos. And like I mentioned in another video, I'm going to try to get some of these out to you guys as well as giveaways. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.